For anyone else, it would be dizzying. For Donald Trump, it is just Thursday. His attempt to get the classified documents case thrown out failed. His attempt to get the Georgia election interference case tossed on free speech grounds failed. And just yesterday, his motion to dismiss the New York hush money case against him failed. Now he's got a new hearing set in his business fraud case, and he's trying to push back on that barrage of bad news about Truth Social going public. I'm joined now by CNN political analyst and New York Times senior political correspondent Maggie Haberman. Uh, and Maggie, I know you have some new reporting tonight on the very issue that we were just discussing with Trump's former attorney, Jim Trusty. How do those who remain on his legal team view this issue of using the PRA, the Presidential Records Act, to claim the documents are personal? Yes, yeah, so Brianna, look, they were not surprised by the fact that this is the way that the judge ruled. They'll remember, she has taken a very long time on ruling on a number of motions in this case. There's a huge backlog. It has sort of gummed up the works, and their strategy has been this, this blitz of filings to delay all of these trials. It's actually been pretty effective, and they're pretty open about the fact that they think it's been effective. She didn't totally close the door on the notion of the Presidential Records Act coming up at trial. And so because of that, you will continue to hear about this from Donald Trump, who has been saying this since it was put in his head uh, in February of 2022. And I, and I expect, again, this is going to continue publicly. Listen, they, they believe this was a long shot. They didn't think this was likely. Uh, but it was one of the many things they were going to try. And again, Judge Cannon has shown over and over again a willingness to be extremely open to the defense team's arguments. With... I mean, what's really, as I said, a dizzying reality uh, of trying to keep up yep. with all of this. I mean, if you do, <laughs> it's pretty difficult. <laughs> you see, you know that. It's hard. Donald Trump's, it's hard. His legal cases, everything that's going on. What are you hearing about which one he's particularly focused on? Well, at the moment, he's really focused on the Manhattan trial. Um, you know, I asked him about this at his press conference at 40 Wall Street after the March 25th hearing, if he thought he could get an acquittal in this case. And he said, well, there shouldn't even be a trial. And I said, well, there, there is going to be a trial. And he was, you know, trying to suggest that he's still relying on some kind of an appeal effort. I see no evidence that there is going to be a further delay, but they did get a delay of a couple of additional weeks, which they were very happy about. But that trial is where his focus is and where it is going to stay, because at the moment, it is on track to be the only trial that takes place before the election. And as you know, Brianna, their goal has been to push all of these cases past Election Day. Yeah, his response uh, to days of bad headlines about his social media company was to post, quote, my TV ratings are by far the highest and my rallies are not equaled, even close anywhere by anyone. How hard is this for him to accept that True Social isn't you know, the, the Twitter killer or just a success of a sort in, in its own right that he'd hoped it would be. I think we have seen him over and over again to refuse to accept uh, external reality and to continue to try to paint things as he wants them to be seen. And this is one of those times. However, you know, the objective reality is the fact that the stock tumbled earlier this week. You know, what was initially adding to his net worth, at least on paper, by several billions, is no longer that. He is getting a lot of headlines around this, and he is just trying to will it into some kind of a different reality. I think, you know, for most of his supporters, I don't think the fact that Truth Social is not doing well uh, this week or as well as it had been said to, and there's lawsuits and so forth and a lot of bad press around it, uh, is going to bother them. But, you know, as you know, he watches very closely anything related to his net worth, and he is keenly aware of what is being written about it and said about it. I, I still think that this is going to be where you see him focus his energy as Truth Social. I think he is not likely to return to Twitter any time before the election. But, you know, this is not, this is not the week they were hoping to have, certainly with True Social. Trump was on Hugh Hewitt's radio show today. He offered this take on Richard Nixon's infamous Saturday night massacre, which was, of course, the firing of prosecutors during Watergate. Let's listen. They went after him like they've never gone after anybody. He made some mistakes, to put it mildly. Uh, the firings were a mistake. You notice the way I kept people that I couldn't stand? I yep. learned that from Nixon. I said, let me just live with these people for a little while before I get rid of him. So he learned to stagger his firings, but given that's already talking about prosecuting his political opponents, is there any reason to think that those lessons will hold for a second term? Well, first of all, I don't know what administration he was present for, but the one that I covered 
He fired Sally Yates, the deputy attorney general, almost immediately. Um, he uh, asked for the resignation of Mike Flynn, um, a- according to lots of people who, who were around him at the time. He fired James Comey. Um, he, he on and on and on and on. This was not exactly a fire-free administration. And so, sure, I guess you could say some of those were staggered. Um, other people would say that, you know, firing James Comey is what led to the appointment of Robert Mueller. And so uh, it was something of a hot stove that he touched. Um, you know, do I think that anything has changed in terms of what he said at the beginning of 2023 about, you know, I am your retribution to his crowd, that in 2016 I was your voice and today I'm your retribution? No, I think that is still very much his focus. Um, I do think that he would be less inclined to hire people who he thought were going to go against him. And to be clear, Rihanna, that's true for any president. Most presidents want to have people who they think are going to enact their agenda. The question is, what agenda is Donald Trump going to be trying to enact? And since he has already talked openly about appointing a special prosecutor to, quote unquote, go after the Bidens uh, and eroding the post-Watergate norm uh, of uh, Justice Department independence, Uh, I I think that people will have uh, clear questions about what exactly this is supposed to mean. Yeah. One way to look at it is they were staggered firings. Another is that they were kind of perpetual, (laughs) as you experienced. Uh, I I think they were. Staggered, maybe. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But they they were just they kept coming and coming. Uh, Maggie Haberman, always great. And coming and coming. That's right. Always great to get your perspective. Thank you so much.